I was canning garden fresh tomatoes today. When you start, you just need to sanitize the jars. You're gonna be boiling them for 10 minutes and then you're going to chop up your tomatoes. I leave the skins on, you can blanch them and take the skins off, but it adds a lot of good nutrients and it really doesn't make the texture weird. So I just left them all on. And then you can add some sort of peppers if you want it to be spicy, more like Rattel. This is an Anaheim, so it's not gonna be super spicy. You can add much more if you want, or less, or jalapeno. Make it your own, even bell pepper, if that's something that sounds good to you. And then you're gonna be putting in one teaspoon of salt for the pint jars, and two teaspoons of salt for the quart jars. And any salt, will do, it doesn't have to be canning salt. It can be any sort of salt. Then you're going to add some lemon juice. Tomatoes are already pretty acidic, but it really does help to add the tomato, or the lemon rather. You're gonna be doing one tablespoon of lemon juice per pint jar, or two tablespoons per quart jar. This is really great in soups and all kinds of things. Then you're gonna be boiling the lids and the rings for 10 minutes to sterilize them. Unless they're brand new, then you don't need to sterilize them and then you're going to be putting them on just hand tighten. You really don't want to crank it down at all, just till it's nice and snug on there, but not too tight. Then you're going to be putting the jars in your canner. You do not need to use a pressure canner, but a can pressure canner can just double as a water bath because you're just going to be you're not going to be using the pressure canner part of it. You're just going to be using the water bath and then you're going to put the water so it's just over the lids. These had a lot of air in them, but as soon as it gets boiling, it's going to float down. And then you're going to boil it. Once it gets to boiling, you're going to boil it for 45 minutes. And then you're going to promptly remove your jars and place them on a clean counter and leave them. Do not disturb them for 24 hours. And this is what it looks like. All right.